number three. Kit, um, um, Quetzalcoatl. I think I got it right. I don't know. I looked it up, still didn't do too much to help me. Passed down to you by Guauhtemoc, Jaguar warrior of Tenochtitlan. Another omen. The lake around the great city of Tenochtitlan rose and boiled. It foamed until it washed against the houses of the city, sweeping many of them into the lake. I accompanied our dignitaries to meet with the new arrivals. We journeyed towards the coast, through the lands of our enemies, the Tlaxcala. When we emerged from the forest, the strangers welcomed us, although they kept their weapons nearby. I told them that we were Aztecs, representatives of the great Montezuma. The leader said that his people were Spanish, and he named himself Cortes, although he seemed pleased when we referred to him as Quetzalcoatl. Although their armor and animals seem otherworldly, they did not seem like gods to me. We presented Cortes gifts of finest cotton and plumes of bird feathers, but he seemed more interested in the gold ornaments. He asked again and again if there was more gold to be found in Tenochtitlan. By now, Cortes had advanced all the way to the lands of the Tlaxcala. There was initial warfare made between Tlaxcala and the Spanish. However, when Cortes heard stories about the size of Tenochtitlan and the numbers of our brave Aztec warriors, he suggested that the Spanish and Tlaxcala join forces and attack the Aztecs. And I guess we're gonna go in there and bust them up. Yep, I gotta go bust them up. <laughs> Tabasco, my ally. On food and in games. <laughs> Don't despair. Great. They get cannons. And I gotta tell all these people to go to work. I do not know the intentions of these Spanish arrivals. For now, our enemies are the Tlaxcala. What? Why is there... Okay, we just have a gate and some stone. Cool. Can we save them? I feel like trying, but it's gonna be very difficult and I'm gonna have to go very fast. I'm not in any particular position to be doing that. Uh, yeah, some of you guys are going to need to be on wood. Oops, wait a minute, are there any more of you? Nope, okay, good. Okay, we do have barracks. We even have a- oh, we're already in the Imperial Age. Hot damn. Uh, that'll be worth it if we can get the food, and they're just gonna be overrun, aren't they? They're stealing turkeys. The bastards. Alright, we should find a way to get to them. I assume they're, this road is connected up here. But we'll let the scouts figure that out, or get eaten by jaguars. Both work. We're already in the Imperial Age, so I feel a rush is going to be necessary. And they're already coming in. Yep, alright. Uh, let's get pikemen at the very least. And as much as we can afford on that. Yeah, this is going to be fun. Okay, he's made it through the forest, it seems. Yeah, by all in indications, those are connected. Uh, I do not have any gold. Or at least a ton of gold, so... Hello, what is this? Horses. I should look to free them. 
He's got the same idea. Let's do it. Uh, yeah, I think we just need to keep that up. Let's see. Yeah, put it all in the villagers. Well, this isn't going to be too fun. But let him take the brunt of that. We'll hit this wall down. Nope, never mind. Survive! Survive! That's not surviving. That's clearly the opposite of surviving. Okay, we need to send people here, pretty much. Uh, yeah. Hundred sixty gold. We're not making any gold quite yet. One more villager to go over there, but you, I would like you to start mining what gold you've got there. Mm, Gunpowder units are good against uh, infantry, so it's not going to be very good to uh, throw pikemen at them, even though they're also anti-cavalry. It's going to be an odd matchup, to say the very least. But, that's the trash we got to deal with. Okay, market. I would love to set this market up and assume that it would work, but I hear fighting and destruction. What's being destroyed? Oh, they're freeing the horses. I'm trying... some point they're gonna have to move out here where the hell do these guys go don't chase the little things please don't get hit by the camera damn it yeah this isn't gonna be fun Get him. Okay, good. That'll do. We're going to try and steal their horses now. Alright, you can do that. You two can go do that. Steal the horses! Run with us! Freedom! Don't shoot the horses! Oh, they're setting up tons of churches. Okay, we just need to kill the red guy, right? Hooray, the horses made it. The rest of our guys didn't, though. got 20, gonna do another 5, these two should probably be on food, let's see, nope, they're just getting shot, how are we supposed to actually kill them, this seems difficult, because they're probably just gonna use these elite cannon galleons to fuck us over. Hello, Mr. Petard. So what do we use these horses for? We, we kind of got them. Do we put them over here with the rocks? 
Guess I will for now. Throw them in the rock farm. Oh, this place looks nice. Ah, we do have a scout friend helping us out here. Yeah, defeat them. So... Yeah, I guess we just kind of rush then. Throw them in there. Throw this guy over here. Okay, and we will need some houses built. Preferably defensively, but oh well. It's, uh, yeah, just wherever they they go. Probably in the corner would be better. Alright. Let's go ahead and start already on the siege workshop. Maybe a castle. In fact, it would not be a terrible idea to also build that up, but, you know, whenever you get around to all of it. Our walls are kind of useless, which is a bit of a shame. Okay, that in a castle, and hello, what are you doing? Besides getting shot by archers. Good. Please build these houses first, it'd be lovely. You can hit him. How are you guys doing? Not defending yourselves too well, but what? The Spanish beasts and weapons are more powerful than our warriors. You just the deleted your lost. fuck off. You guys gave up too easily. The Spanish armies are dangerous because of the beasts they ride into battle. We already captured them. If we could capture these animals. Then the Spanish would be much less of a threat. We got them. Here they are. Okay, how? Oh. Flagged pen in the Aztec camp. This is the pen where we will corral the captured Spanish. Okay, horses. I'm just. I'm just impatient. There we go. Corraled them. Good job. You're still Tabasco, though. Hey, why did you fold over so quickly? Cowards. Okay, that's all built and dandy. 75. Yep, just 10 of those. All right, looks like we got pretty good income. We don't have any allies anymore, so. have confirmed that the Spanish and Tlaxcalans have formed an alliance against us. Great. Now, we must do battle with them both. Your objectives have changed. Kill everyone. Um, good evening. I assume you want to die. our gold income? It's just those two. The rest of you go on wood. Do we have a blacksmith up? How about you? 
go ahead and throw up a blacksmith over there. 20 Spanish horses. Oh, capped rams only food. Awesome, we'll do that. Should be enough villagers for the economy. I think. Are we still stuck to 75? This guy's still scouting for us, good man. No. He will be missed. The elite Eagle Warriors. That's a hell of a cost, actually. I just kind of click that without really noticing. Are they really worth the upgrade? Oh yeah, and we probably should get this castle up sooner rather than later. In fact, we will do that for now. Crop rotation, yes. Nope, we're stuck at 75. Again. Okay, so two, whoa, oh, I started the upgrade for siege rams, because I'm silly, but they'll, they'll be worth it. 300 gold, 350 food, we don't have that much food yet, but we're getting there. Yeah, we get a siege ram, we'll go ahead and start doing things. Maybe two. And crop rotation is done. Time to start producing units and getting the shit dead. Good. Okay, expansions for gold. There's some up there, and I think that's what we're gonna have to deal with. Yeah, that is about it. Over here would be nice, but we'll kill them first. Yeah, I say go for the town center, so maybe those two and the town center, then look at the castle and the other things. But they got that nicely put together, so it'll be interesting. One more? Yeah, one more. Ah, shit, are you just shooting the shit there? Alright, come on. Let's go kill him. He's. What is he even shooting? The siege workshop? Just him? Alone? I'm building a castle here. Hello, single skirmisher. Alright, the rest of us are just gonna go ahead and get shit done. Make sure that we've got upgrades coming in. Alright. Let's get going, but let's make sure that at least three are standing there just in case. They should be defensive, but oops, oh well. Um, yeah, just that one. Hello, they're bringing in some heavier artillery. Yeah, that's not fun. Okay, where were my auxiliaries? We have one. 
Okay, those guys are still there. Uh, you're having fun with them, so... Damn it! These guys are just a little savage. <laughs> Get involved, villagers. Whatever gets a kill. They are fighting back. Okay, that guy's... Looks like they've been settled and these guys have been distracted. Shit. Good job, you got distracted, and the thing we need to keep alive is now dying. He's just gonna keep on it. No reason for him not to keep on it. Jeez Louise. Alright, I'm sending this back to actually get repaired, because we lost a thing. You guys can rebuild that. Oh great, and he wasn't even in the Imperial Age. I'm gonna put that there, but that's a mistake, because we've got shit. Okay, these guys were supposed to help, and they didn't. Hmm. I wonder what I can do against Cortez, specifically. needs to get replaced. Buddy needs to be made. That castle needs to be built. That scout can probably be ignored. I did already have a blacksmith. That was silly. Uh, give him range. Okay, something tells me he's dead and that's good. Please go repair him. Okay, one tower's out of the way, so we can pretty much strike at that town center now. I say go defensive and let's do that. Eventually we'll get some Jaguar Warriors and we'll probably be able to fight back a little more effectively. Time. <laughs> the hell are they doing with those petards? Okay. Wasting them on units, sure. I won't stop you. Uh, we still got room for... Good to go. No, I think we're good. Yeah, that's actually a good place for them to meet, just in case. Alright, you are on stone. Yep, get in on it. Nice 200 damage. Or 
working out so far. Second siege engine is in, and I say we just hit that castle up when it is convenient. Yes, I will bring this contingent in. Not yet. Wait for the siege. Now I just gotta protect him. And we got gunpowder. Ooh, we got gunpowder. In spades. They're still getting hit, but uh, we're not doing all too well. Still, pointy things will hurt. We don't need lead balls flying at a few hundred feet per second to do our damage. Okay, I say we gotta strike at that town center. these villagers that go down the better. <laughs> right. And the uh, apparent splash damage of the battering ram. Okay, good. So far, so good, and if we keep the market alive, that'll be just excellent. Oh, I think he's given up. So I say we should start moving on Cortez immediately. These guys. Phew, alright. One down. Or defeat the Spanish. Well, that kind of sucks. Did I only have to defeat the Spanish? It doesn't matter. There's a market. That's good enough reason to have done that. Let's make sure it works. You can follow them home if you don't mind. And now we must kill the Spanish. I suggest we start with some Jaguar Warriors. Ooh, wait, trebuchets. We can build those? Alright, alright. I see some future here. Gold's running out. I'm glad we got that trade up. Hopefully he will do us proud, and we will be able to uh, rely on that for more wealth. Uh, let me make sure that, yeah, you need some upgrades there, but we got plenty for, uh, and I feel like sending them in. In fact, we'll do some of that with the skirmishers, too. Just get some units going and see where it takes us. Alright, here comes the population limit. Good, we're done here. Infantry have four attack. We'll get conscription, because that's always good. Yeah, I gotta see how much uh, 
this guy makes running back and forth from the enemies and hopefully he's not dumb enough to go there but who knows all right population limit is reached these guys are almost in yeah I got a feeling we could just start marching in this general direction and just see what happens Alright, conscription is complete. Elite Jaguar Warriors might work. Sappers would be hilarious, but I don't know if we're going to be able to do that. Spies, I'm not going to have the gold anytime soon. A trebuchet, though. It's do I want to upgrade all my infantry, which isn't a bad idea, or do I want to get some trebuchets? I feel like the infantry would go for the longer run but okay hold on this guy 55 that's not all that much I was expecting just a teeny bit more still gold is gold uh, yeah speaking of gold it'd probably be better if we did that all right uh, yeah this gold mine is gone so I would very much like to replace those three villagers with three trade cards, but I know we're already going to have some issues with that. Alright, time to see what's up. Oh, it's just a tiny little thing over here. And a castle. Alright, if the castle can't hit us on this gate, then we're going to attack it first. Hiding behind the forest like it'll save them. Well, it might, but we'll see. Another place over here with just a guard tower. Eh, I'm gonna strike where they're weakest. Okay, guard tower's hitting us back. Defensive, please. Could you stop getting hit by the tower? And you've awoken a hornet's nest. Just stay in the corner, pretend you don't exist, and as soon as the walls go down, then go ham. Should be pretty easy. Wait for it. Wait for it. Now. Where are you going? Cowards. You cannot run. Get him. Don't get shot by cannons. There we go. Go after those villagers. That seems good. They thought they were safe from the Aztecs. Hey look, more horses. Okay, this looks like it's being successful. I think you'll go down. Yeah, we got the siege. Help him free the horses. Whoops, that was not the castle falling down, that was something else. That was that little wall. Okay, I think the horses know where to go. Thank you. Okay, now that that is down, we do want to take down the guard tower. We've already got the other market, that works. Yep. Blood for the blood god. And maybe not create all those pikemen. I want to make sure the trade cards actually do get made. Sorry. So sorry. 
Uh, yeah, we don't have enough gold. Probably because I killed all the gold miners. There is a bombard tower up there. Alright, come on. Get him. That should go down pretty quickly. How are you still alive and scouting? I don't think it matters all too much. Good stuff. I'm actually going to have them move on the Bombard Tower, which might be a mistake, but we'll find out. Alright, how are you doing? We have captured ten Spanish horses. We are halfway to our goal. Interesting, that was only ten. I wonder where the rest are. Oh, hold on. I see some. And he should take that down pretty well. He's a scout, and at least he's getting assailed by arrows. That's good. Bracer. Okay, good. Trade cards have been made, but population limit has been reached. So as soon as we have some casualties in war, we will have more gold. Let's go make sure there aren't villagers that need a killing. Get him. Oh, there we go. We have freed the horses. We're probably just going to use them for our own gains, but it's the thought that counts. Sometimes. Alright. No, 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 not them, the tower. There we go. Free the horses again. Excellent. And now they decide to stay still. Oh boy. Yeah, we got some other problems. Get him! Don't let him run! Okay. The guard tower is going down, but not as fast as I would like it to. There we go. Time to wreak whatever havoc we can. Go. I said attack move. Yeah, please kill these cannons. They're getting a little annoying. Oop, one horse did not quite make it. Okay. Still don't have enough gold? Come on, guys. Now that we have all of the Spanish horses, they will be unable to send oh. into battle. That's what they were doing. We have defeated the trash points and slowed the Spanish advance. But I fear the final confrontation is yet to come. Oh, I had to get the horses or defeat the Spanish. That's what was going on. Cutting off their supply of horses. Right? I mean, it has, still hasn't given me victory yet. I could be wrong. Okay, there we go. Yep, nope, it was just weakening them by taking their precious ponies.
Whoops. Yes. Although the Aztec warriors fought well that day, my men were frightened by the beast that the Spanish rode into combat and by the noise of their exploding weapons. Although we had survived the attack, I thought it best to withdraw towards Tenochtitlan and share with the Emperor Montezuma all that we had learned. I do not know if my uncle, Montezuma, was being cowardly or merely trying to preserve us from the wrath of the gods, but he sent more gifts to Cortes, along with an invitation to visit our great city as his personal guest. I was there when Montezuma met Cortes on one of the causeways leading into our great city. The Spanish had evidently never seen anything like Tenochtitlan, and they stared in wonder at the brightly colored markets and pyramids rising out of a man-made island in the middle of gigantic Lake Texcoco. Some of the Spanish soldiers asked whether it was all a dream, the first glimpse of things never heard, seen, or dreamed before. Montezuma led Cortes at the top of the Great Pyramid, where he pointed out the various canals and neighborhoods of the city. But Cortes was mostly interested in gold ornaments and helped himself to any which he encountered. I was no longer convinced that this man was Quetzalcoatl. So says Cuauhtémoc, Jaguar warrior of Tenochtitlan. And another one down. Now time for the, uh, is it the easy night? I think that's what three stay means. I can't remember though. 